The Just In Time game is a simulation uh, of a real factory. Uh, it starts off in a classic push environment where you're pushing product through with a lot of work in progress, a lot of finished goods inventory. And we play a number of rounds where the students try and work out how they can apply operations principles to lead to a pool system based on true customer demand. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of energy, and they really experience what they learn in the classroom. From my point of view, this game is like learn by doing. It's bringing the supply chain concept from the class into business world, into reality. It's really interesting because you apply all the concepts like Kanban, just-in-time production, everything that we learn, you are putting in a real world and trying to implement the concepts that you learn in the class, but you don't see in reality. So with that game, it helps you to understand how the world works. Well, at Cranfield, we really do believe that if you can experience some of the theories that you have in the classroom, then you really learn, learn by doing. So one of the real benefits of the game, of course, is to have what you've been taught in the classroom, actually apply it and feel it. So there's a huge benefit from that. The skills I've developed throughout the game is number one, identifying bottlenecks in the production system. Number two, identifying the type of process to implement to that bottleneck. And number three is identifying how one change to the supply chain can affect my other end of the supply chain. So that I make sure that I'm taking all that into consideration. So if I'm making a changes at the operations level, how is it going to affect my assembly? How is it going to affect my quality control? How is it going to affect the customer? So all that has to be taken into consideration. Well, the module that they did on operations management, they were taught about concepts like lean operations, concepts like balancing the line, concepts like how could you, you remove the bottlenecks. So for example, they were taught about Kanbans. They might have understood it, but once they apply it in the game, it gets really, really interesting. They begin to understand that really Kanban can work, how Kanban decoupling points can work. So these sort of things that they learned in the theoretical portion of the operations management program were actually applied and they all came into action here.